stay frosty and happy halloween guys i know this is the official start of the season welcome 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 i thought i'd get into the spirit of things literally as you guys are seeing here on the screen here uh welcome 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 a dnk creator producer and host to peep this out reviews here on youtube give me the thumbs up let me know you can hear me okay and see me okay it's great to see all of you guys uh, we're going to have some fun with this one tonight, I have a feeling. Uh, I think we are in full Halloween mode with the whole lighting in the background and, of course, with the uh, screens and all those th things that you just saw. Great to see all of you guys. I've been doing some extensive testing with my streaming stuff. I've got keyframes enabled. I've got a few different things. I'm going to be watching things as we go. Should we have any issues and if anything cuts out, uh, I'm going to restart the stream on YouTube's own little webcam interface, and then we'll just continue on from there. But let's just see how we go. Uh, naturally, if we get everything going the way that it should be, uh, we'll be good by the time the review comes around, and uh, I think we'll be okay there. But great to see all of you guys. Let's see here. Who else is in the chat as we go down the line? Uh, let's see here. Let's shoot up to the very top here since we got some time here. Lord Darkside, what's going on? Lord, great to see all of you guys uh, in here. Starting off with Lord, we've got Annette Cervantes. Annette, thanks so much for jumping on. Uh, all of you guys who may have been on yesterday's little test stream, I appreciate that as well. I'm glad we were able to get that going. Uh, but definitely uh, glad to be here. We're in the middle of a little bit of a flex alert here right now. So if anything should cut out, I have my laptop fully charged. And I've also got my mobile hotspot enabled. So if we have to switch over quickly to do anything, uh, I'm prepared for it. So uh, we have a little bit of a storm coming up. I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but Hurricane K um, that actually started down in Mexico and came up through Baja um, has now made a landfall in San Diego, which, Annette, you can probably tell us how that was there. Um, apparently, it's a more of a huge coastal storm uh, right now, but it's beginning to trickle into Southern California uh, as we speak. So it's bringing some very muggy, hot temperatures that are elevating what's already a heated situation here to well over 100 plus degrees. And it's very sticky and very tropical, um, but just craziness with everything going on right now. This is just an, an obscene season for us. So... Uh, we'll see how this goes. I've got my fans going here. Naturally, you're going to see my face being a little shiny throughout. Uh, we'll see how this goes here, but we'll have uh, as much fun as possible because I am looking forward to this uh, for you guys. Let's see here. Uh, Randy Molina is in the house. We've got Dante Reed, Carl Broussard. Thanks so much for jumping on. Drew's Food Reviews. What it do, man? What it do? Uh, Richard, Josiah Hang. Hey, yo, what's up, Ian? How you doing? Great to see you. Thanks so much for jumping on. I'm doing okay. Uh, let's see, putting on some headphones earlier. Yes, I hope you guys dug the intro. I'm going to be rotating a few Halloween goodies throughout the season. Um, for those of you Eagle Eye viewers out there, that was actually the um, entranceway into the Haunted Mansion before you round the corner at the very top to get into the ride. And those paintings that were up on the wall, that's an exact recreation, but they changed the three paintings to be the animated nasty text that you see going on there. But um, that's essentially what the Haunted Mansion looks like on the inside of Disneyland. Um, which is very cool as you go up that little line, that little you're following the pathway and then it rounds the corner at the top. Um, but very cool for that. So yes, Annette Cervantes, spooky season is definitely among us. Glad that it finally is. I'm glad you guys are digging that. Erna, it's been very hot, very sticky here naturally, a very uncomfortable sleeping. I'm pretty tired, to be honest. Um, I haven't been sleeping very well the last few days. Um, a little bit more cat naps here and there throughout the day, but um, it's just murderous here. This has been a really rough season here uh let's see who else c Bong, thanks so much for jumping on what it do michael domayer hey there spooky entrance glad you're digging it glad you're digging it um and again we have a pretty uh i think this should be for resources good for a lot of you guys to view naturally as long as your connection is fairly decent i think you'll be all right uh we've got the halloween goodies this is my favorite halloween background i believe i've used all this stuff that's around here uh before but i just love it it stands out beautifully and uh definitely a fan uh, let's see. Chualorian, three months until my birthday on December 2nd. Very cool. Yeah, nice. You have a nice little holiday birthday situation there during the uh, winter season. That's awesome. Drew says, yes, it's been toasty here too. You already know. Rerum Trading, third like. Guys, please hit that like button down below. Definitely share the stream out with all the peeps that you know. And incidentally, should you guys wish to contribute to the stream, we'll just jump right on into it. Um, you'll find all those th little multitude of ways to do that in the description box down below or the first pinned comment on the replay, which chances are, if you're watching this on Sunday after 12 o'clock, you're watching this right now. So you'll find all that information there. Um, just keep in mind, if you do any super chatting during the live show, um, YouTube does take about 30% from you to do that. So PayPal is always the best way. Those links are down below. If you're watching this on desktop, the upper right-hand corner of your display um, has the link uh, directly in there as well too there. But all that stuff is down below. You'll find it either in the description or the first pinned comment. And thank you in advance 
I greatly appreciate it here. This is technically my pre-birthday, pre-happy birthday Eve Eve, technically. My birthday is on Sunday, 9-11. Um, I've got a full weekend planned, at least for tomorrow, to watch Cobra Kai the whole day with a large pizza. That's going to be my whole thing. That's the birthday present to myself. And then on Sunday, um, we'll see how it goes because they have this whole train. This tropical storm is going to be pretty much pounding our area uh, through up until that time. So we'll see what happens this weekend. But I'm excited for season five Cobra Kai all day tomorrow. Um, just like all the other seasons, I've watched them literally the same day fully, naturally. And I'm excited to see the season five. I hear great things. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty much going to be doing that. You'll have a new review coming out at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time as well. Um, and a lot of good times there for sure. I think you'll enjoy what you're going to see. And then naturally, this replay will be on Sunday. And then uh, we'll be back to the rolling into the good times again for the week. So this is a brand new content every single week here on my channel for the last nine plus years now, guys. We're marching towards the 10th year <laughs> into next year in August 15th, uh, which is crazy. So a lot of fun stuff to come. And of course, tonight here on the show, um, this should be kind of fun as well. ScottRush.com. This might be a little too spooky. You already know what it is. Mr. Jimmy, it's not October. That is very true, mi familia. Um, but it, it happens to be uh, spooky season. So naturally, I'm getting into the swing of things. Halloween is my favorite time of the year. I'm a huge horror fan, as you guys know. I'm super excited for the new Halloween movie coming out on the 14th of October. Of course, Halloween ends. Um, just that particular story of it ends. We all know that that doesn't necessarily end because Michael Myers is eternal. Um, but it should be fun to see how, what they're going to do there. So, yes, Mr. Jimmy, you are correct. But you can't fade the fact that I like to get into the spirit of things, right? <laughs> so to speak, again, literally. Uh, let's see here. Randy Molina saying hello to Michael Domeyer. Michael Domeyer, what is going on, my friend? Great to see you as always. Alex Forever 32. Hello there. Did you used to watch Rocky and Bullwinkle? Yes, I think you've asked me that before. Uh, way back in the day, of course. All those classic cartoons. You already know. Uh, let's see here. Going down the line, Mr. Jimmy, what are we reviewing? We're going to be reviewing two things tonight. Uh, one thing is probably not going to make my mom very happy because she is watching the stream here right now. What's going on, moms? But we'll save that for the very end, so I don't want to get you irritated first thing. <laughs> so, granted, everything is going the way that it should. Uh, we'll just uh, we'll go from there. But shout-outs to Mama Peeps watching right now. Of course, uh, one of the main inspirations, if not the inspiration, for the name of my channel, which you guys know from the ninth anniversary special that I showcased a few weeks back. Um, which you guys can find in the live stream replays playlist. If it hasn't popped up already, just take a look at the upper right hand corner of your display for a few things that will be there for you to watch uh, once the replay goes live. So let's see here as we're going on down. And yes, I'm aware of Rings of Power. Definitely uh, every Friday there's a new episode. I've been getting into that. Definitely can't wait to see the third one tonight. There was two episodes for the premiere last week. Um, and then naturally uh, House of the Dragon, the Targaryen show uh, for Game of Thrones using their the uh, subtitle there, House of the Dragon. Can't wait to see that. That's actually third episode or fourth episode, I think, at this point, um, I believe. I think I'm off already. Uh, but the newest episode will be on my birthday, 2 9 11, which I can't wait to um, can't wait to check out, too. So it's going to be a fun weekend of watching some fun stuff there, kind of taking a little bit of a break and then coming right back to uh, all the goodness that you guys know and love here on the channel, which I greatly appreciate all the love and support. Uh, from all of you guys. Jackie Hero Food Review is doing it big up in Canada, of course, along with the trips. I'm not sure if the trips is here just yet. Uh, but shout outs to you. I'm glad you're digging the Halloween animation, Jackie, of course. Uh, let's see here. Going on down. Swing, going to, da, 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 da. Mr. Jimmy says it's Pumpkin Spice Twinkie. I know they're back. I've seen them. <laughs> is it going to be the Pumpkin Spice Twinkie? And that thinks it's going to be a hostess review. We shall see. Inquiring minds want to know. And if you're watching this on the replay, you already know by the thumbnail what it is. So <laughs> I'm not going to go any further. You can always skip around. Technically down below, I do have some of the chapter headings of some of the things that jump right to the reviews. So uh, take a look at that along with anyone who may have contributed to the channel. Of course, you guys will be the official sponsors down below. All that information uh, that I spend time putting together is always there for the few that do like to read that stuff or just want to jump to some things that are a little bit more uh, easier to find. Drew, just like Ian leaves us with monsters. There you go. You already know. Mr. Jimmy's doing the little to Andy Randy Molina doing the dab off to the side. Very cool. Very, very cool. Nice. We are back in the house. Looks like we're all caught up here right now. Again, like I said, doing some extensive testing uh, to make sure that the stream is moving along. 
Uh, and I think I just saw one of the comments there. Tony Montana, happy early 49th birthday. Yes, if you guys can believe it, I'm going to turn 49, which is crazy to say out loud. But yes, Nestor, I appreciate that as well. Very cool. On fee suggests my power went out crazy. Yeah, we have a uh, we're a little bit on high alert um, here. I'm a little worried about it um, at the same time, but we have backups just in case if I lose the lighting here, uh, we'll figure something out. You know, we'll see how it goes. Critical East Japan, thanks so much for jumping on. Trying to get caught up here. I'm jumping around the chat just to kind of see who else is here. Depside, can we get a hello to Mama Peeps going in the chat? Very cool, Deppy Slide. I think my mom would appreciate that. That would be cool. You know, she enjoys watching and she loves watching the comments. It's one of the main reasons I wanted to have the live chat up on the screen because Moms is not too into using the tablet uh, in certain ways, just, just enough to kind of get it going, um, but naturally having some of the stuff visible here on the screen, which is also fun for you guys too to check out, um, is, uh, is the reason for that there. Uh, Sonic Jet, what's going on? I've been telling Ian about trippy foods, but he seems not to care. It's not that, my friend. <laughs> I'm a one-man show trying to do almost all of everything that's out there. Uh, it can be a little hard to get around to some things, uh, for sure. Uh, but you already know. KBD Productions TV in the house. Happy birthday, Ian. I appreciate you, Ken. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We are all moving along, and uh, that's a good thing, right? Because it's better than the alternative. But shout-outs to KBD Productions, Ken. I always love what you do. I uh, appreciate the love and support always, being in a familiar territory and being in great company, too, here on YouTube in terms of the food review community. You already know. Uh, we have some amazing peeps putting out some amazing content there, and you guys know a lot of these familiar names here in the chat. So shout-outs to you, Ken. I appreciate that. Erna, dropping a $2 Super Chat donation. I appreciate you. Down below. Let's see here. 80s band album, Hard Songs from the Big Chair. Oh, man. Is that Tears for Fears? R.E.M. or Tears for Fears, I want to say. I want to say. Hopefully, it's one of those two. But correct me, Erna, because you definitely are the 80s aficionado when it comes to uh, music. But I want to say if it's Songs from the Big Chair, I want to I wanna say it's Tears for Fears, I believe, uh, for sure. Uh, let's see here as we're moving along. <laughs> Mr. Jimmy, I only got eight more years to catch up to you, brother. Yes, very, very true. And the good thing to know about this um, also is that uh, when people say, oh, 50 is like the start, that's like the last year. 49 is the last year of your 40s. 50 is the last year of your 40s because you go blocks of 10. So 51 is when you begin your true 50s, so to speak. So I think like the top number is like, the announcement of the new age for you, so to speak, if I can say it that way. And then it goes into the new uh, the new goodness over there. Nestor, glad you got your choppiness issues worked out. Knock on wood, we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. I've got my hardline connection plugged in through USB-C. I've got my keyframes enabled. And I have a 3,000 kilobits per second enabled too, just to kind of keep it medium there. And 1280 by 720 just for compatibility. Even though we have a much higher capacity we can do here, I want to make it even across the board and not stress everything out. Um, but I think you guys can see everything clearly, right? So um, hopefully that's going to work out pretty nicely uh, for you guys. Let's see here. What else? I think something just popped in over here. Janice just subscribed. Jarvis. Jarvis Lacey actually subscribed to the channel. Shout outs to you there. We have a lot of activity that you'll see throughout the hour as things are going. And again, guys, let me just tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the major support for the channel as uh, this year has progressed on. Naturally, every single month is just better performance every single month. Um, last month being probably one of the highest yet. So it really is an amazing situation. Um, every single month, I am just so, so flabbergasted. And I haven't used that word ever until like right now that just jumped into my head real quick. Um, whenever I see how far things are moving along. So I, I really am just so thankful and grateful uh, for all of you guys. And uh, I just, I, I thank you so much wholeheartedly uh, for being part of the crew. Tony Pizza, I enjoy watching too. Very cool. Thanks so much for being here. And I'm kind of going around the chat here, just kind of moving around. Uh, Larry Nguyen, again, don't read my comment. It's hard, my friend. It's hard to focus. There's so much that I'm looking at here at one time, but I'm trying to give uh, everybody a little bit of something here before we get into the uh, the main content in just a few. But shout-outs to you, Larry. I appreciate you. You already know. Uh, let's see. Sonic Jet is, is beating his drum, too. I wish I had like a moderator that can answer some questions for me, but then you guys would be either upset about that because I wouldn't be talking to you directly. So just you know, know that I am trying my best. And I'm not going to say if you super chat for sure, I'll say something to you because naturally, of course, I want to hit those, of course. But um, I'm trying my best to combat uh, all of that and also address everybody at the same time. 
Janice uh, Yamanaka here. It's, I know Ian did a review or two with Reckless Eating and uh, Chippy Foods is a member of the Reckless Eating crew now. Very cool. Yes, 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 yes. Reckless Eating back in the day for sure. Um, you already know it's some amazing stuff going on over there. Uh, of course, they always do it up big. Um, at the same time, Matt and his team over there, definitely always a lot of fun. Of course, fun stuff on Patreon. Jump over to Reckless Eating uh, for sure. If you haven't already, let them know that Ian K sent you and said hi. Of course, you already know. Uh, a lot of fun times from everybody. Uh, let's see. Hardy Orens. Oh, there's a name I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Who would win in a fight between you or older reviews? I couldn't tell you because I have nothing but respect for good old Tony. Uh, for sure. I think he's down in Florida now, I believe. Uh, which is cool. Uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. John Hendren. Hey, what's going on? I appreciate the advice for the stream stuff as well. Stream looks smooth and nice. Knock on wood. I've been watching everything here, so we'll see how this goes. So far, it is moving along. Uh, glad you are digging what you're seeing here already. Tears for fears. Yes. Okay, cool. I was correct on that. That is very cool. And everybody here is noticing Ken in the chat. Very awesome. You already know what it is. Ken is definitely putting in the work, putting in the time. The passion is obvious. Uh, good times across the board. Erna, $2 super chat donation again. Let's see what is on this particular one. Next year, Big Four Ian turning 50, 10 years on YouTube. Yes, it is crazy to think about it. You know, when I look back on it, time has really flown by. But as crazy as the ocean has been, and believe me, you can change the motion of the ocean. You just have to adjust your sails accordingly, like I always say. Um, you come across things, you make, you know, adjustments here and there, and you make some things moving along, and then you just see what works. And if something isn't working, you pivot. Um, and you go from there. But the main important thing, regardless of all of that, is that you're having fun doing it. Because if you're not having fun doing it, then what is the point, right? Um, at the end of the day, it's just, you know, I'm just an average guy giving my opinion on what I'm eating in the car at the time or here on the stream having a little fun with you guys. Um, but if you don't like it, it's there's no point in, uh, in going on there. And that will eventually come through in videos. I mean, I've seen some creators who don't look very happy doing what they do. I'm not going to name any names, but I just kind of know the background stories of a few things there. Um, and I just hope people just find their way and truly, truly, really are enjoying what they're doing as time goes by. Or at least find something to make it brand new for them at the same time. Larry Nguyen, why won't you do Halal, guys? It's just a matter of scheduling and getting over there, my friend. That's the main thing. So at some point in time, I would like to do that. I would like to do that and get on over there and add that in. I just know that once I do... Um, it's going to be something that I'm going to want to probably do more often. And I think that's the reason why you're wanting me to do it. So I'll have to take a look and see what we can do there. Uh, let's see. Yes. I uh, shout outs to the, uh, to the queen. I know it's crazy, crazy, crazy with that whole situation. Crazy. Yes. Sonic jet. I agree. Who cares about the age? Just be happy you're alive. I agree. Every day you wake up, you're already winning right there. But you know, some days are better than others. Believe me, I have my days um, at the same time. So you already know. All right, guys, let's just jump into a quick breakdown as always, before we get into the review in just a few minutes here, very eventful, um, week or two uh naturally with everything going on with uh starting off i think we'll just go back starting off with the papa john's football pizza review that's kind of like coming back a little bit there if you haven't seen that one naturally that was a lot of fun to check out just their variation of a football themed pizza just the way the look was totally dug how they were kind of using the stuffed crust cheese in the middle for the lace straps the stitching um which was pretty cool with that so naturally you know just a fun pizza to check out for sure uh from there the of course the wingstop chicken sandwich which is now sold out across the country i know it'll be back but you know it's just a matter of when uh, a lot of fun checking that out my first experience going in on that there naturally uh interesting first time they were missing something which i addressed actually in the next review on the spicy korean q variant of that and doing a few different versions of the uh the flavors of that particular one from there it was the return of the detroit style pizza and the supremo variant is the one that i actually hadn't done the first time around and they didn't bring that back the second time um at that time as well it was just something else in terms of just creating what it was um, but it wasn't the supremo name and the last time i had heard supremo was when they did the pizzone um, so i figured you know what let me come on back to the well we'll add that one of the playlists and that was a lot of fun to check out um, definitely a very delicious pizza situation. You guys all know sausage is my favorite topping of choice when it comes to pizza toppings. Um, it really is pretty awesome. From there, uh, we went back to Wingstop to check out the Hawaiian variant of the chicken sandwich because honestly, um, a lot of the flavors that I don't get more often is one of the reasons I wanted to try some of the other versions of it. And Hawaiian is one that I don't get often, if ever. 
Um, so it was really good to check that out outside of maybe some specialty flavors that they have, like they combine Hawaiian uh, with something with that. But that was fun to check out there. Um, and then actually something that was filmed prior to the Detroit style pizza was actually the Del Taco new epic tortas which some of you guys were asking about, but I couldn't say anything about that um, because that series was in production and I wanted to make sure I got everything finished with it ahead of time so I can just start rolling those out. So the first one came out right after the Hawaiian chicken sandwich and that was the carne asada and queso. Um, you'll see another couple of those naturally because there's two other ones in the next few days, of course. Um, so good times across the board with that. Um, interesting for a fast food torta. I got to say it was a very interesting situation. And for those of you saying that that's not a true torta because of the bread, um, just keep in mind that they, they do have hoagie style tortas. I believe it's Tolera, if I was reading correctly on this, that they call it. If you can correct, somebody correct me here in the chat. Um, that would be awesome. Um, I believe it's called Tolera is like the subversion of like that type of bread to do that. Ed Keaton jumping in with the super chat donation. I appreciate the happy Friday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys are contributing to the birthday fun, which is going into the fun that's going to be fueling other reviews uh, here on the channel. So I appreciate all the love and support that you guys do because it goes right back into what I do for you guys, uh, which is uh, creating content. And I love doing what I do. It is definitely a blast, as you guys know. Uh, right after the epic tortas from naturally the first version, um, I, I swung over to Krispy Kreme. That was a pivot video um, because naturally that came out of nowhere um, to check out, you know, something new. Krispy Kreme kind of rotates every three weeks, apparently, uh, which is crazy. But again, shout out to Ed Keaton. There you go. You're in effect down below as well to all of you guys. Also, incidentally, any of you who may have done anything on PayPal till, uh, during the stream, I won't know until after the fact. I can't find a way to link that down below so it reads it. Um, in there. So just know that my heart's in the right place as always. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And of course you will be listed as official sponsors down below uh, there. But uh, Krispy Kreme, the new Churdos. Instead of churros, it was Churdos. And uh, I believe me, I've had a lot of fun putting these little quick snippets together for videos for YouTube Shorts recently, which you guys have seen, which I'm going to start embracing a little bit more. It's a fun little format um, to kind of do and maybe make mix things up just a little bit, do some reviews. You'll see some things in the near future. Uh, but that was featured today at 12 o'clock, which I'll be releasing my shorts, I think, at, at noontime, typically the next day. If I release a new piece of content the very next day at 12, you'll find a version of shorts going up as well as something that you'll see on Instagram. So you guys will be hit from all angles from in terms of what it is. But uh, keep, eye, keep an eye on the shorts goodness right there because it's a lot of fun to put together and I'm having a blast creatively um, with that as well. It gets uh, kind of the juices going to keep moving it along. But Krispy Kreme Churdos, it was very interesting with those. Uh, for me, when, like I said initially, I thought they were like twists, you know, initially. But when you look at them, they're three little mini donuts connected. And then naturally they have the flavors that you see uh, reviewed. So, of course, I knock them all out in one review because you got to do that. And that's really the, uh, the main thing uh, for that. So that was the pivot video to kind of split in between some of the Del Taco stuff and some of the things that you'll see this week um as well but naturally some good stuff there guys some good stuff across the board so thank you thank you thank you for everything um that you guys have been commenting on those videos these are the reasons that i love doing the live streams because as i'm so busy creating constantly it's hard for me to kind of go back and answer and do a lot of these things because a lot of them are just a lot of comments of people just giving their opinion of what they saw but i like using these live streams to address you guys directly and to talk to you directly and to look right at you and hopefully address some of your questions here in the chat uh, which is pretty awesome, or in this case, because it's reversed. Uh, so yes, good times. But thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you guys are digging the content. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. And again, just, you know, incredible performance. I'm blown away by just, you know, how much you guys are embracing um, what you're seeing and just sending me messages directly. A lot of people reaching out. I, I just really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Stupid food review show. Jesus and the tortilla. What's going on, brother? I've noticed all the new shorts. Yeah, I'm just kind of playing around with it, just kind of getting it started there. You know, naturally, you can't really do too much in terms of customizing and stuff like that, but I decided to make a little bit of a format that's kind of matching my channel. So you'll see some stuff on the top and in the bottom, and then roughly a decent view in the middle there. So as I'm trying to kind of, you know, move it along, that's the goal, uh, is to give you a little piece of extra um, at the same time. So some of them are doing really well. I was very surprised, you know, in terms of some of the performance on them there, but um, every little bit towards there, the bottom line, and it helps naturally. Why not? You know, it's it's something fun to do. I'm um, not like I don't have too much else to do, right? I mean, there's a ton that I'm always producing and doing. So adding a little bit extra, I'm used to it at this point. But I'm glad you noticed them. Jesus and the tortilla, guys, jump on over um, as well. You already know what it is. He has a very very fun personality. Very a very um, no frills approach, right in your face to tell you what's going on. Jesus and the tortilla, you already know. 
<laughs> Thanks so much for being here, my friend. I appreciate it. Nestor, have you ever thought about doing a TikTok thing? Yes, I get that question a lot. Even my wife is asking me that question, to be honest. Um, it's one more thing that I just don't know if I can adopt in. That's why I like the fact that YouTube is incorporating a lot of the things from the most popular platforms into one. Because for you content creators out there, and if you guys want to actually light it up here in the chat, um, you know it's hard enough as it is to manage just a couple of social medias on top of everything that you pump out on YouTube. And for me, I don't have any, you know, like a, a legion of followers or people behind me, like a team um, that's doing a lot of this stuff to help me with it. I'm doing everything all on my own, whether it's merchandise stuff or whether it's just live streaming and designing and everything you're seeing here, nobody else. So it's very hard to do. So I'm not against the idea at the moment, but at the same time, um, it's just the amount of uh, energy and time to do it is really the main reason there. So I'm not against it, like I said, but who knows? Maybe we'll, we'll have to see there. And at Cervantes, I appreciate the information for the uh, the tip jar goodies over there. Of course, all that stuff can be found at Peep This Out Reviews as IG. That's my main uh, thing that I like to post to for most of my stuff there, including any changes to my live streaming schedule, uh, of course, can be found there as well. Uh, Misty Smith, what's going on? Thanks so much. I appreciate the birthday love right over there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Very cool, very cool. Let's see. Artie Ahrens, will you be doing more car repair videos after your How Do You Change Your Front and Brick Fruit Play has got you so many views? You know, I don't want to compete with you, Artie, because believe me, that's I think you have that area locked up like to no end. So believe me, you guys, you keep doing what you're doing with those car videos, my friend. And uh, believe me, people will keep showing up for you. Absolutely. Keep it up, Artie. I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you. All right. So... Let's see here. Yes, Annette Cervantes. I have to read up a little bit more on the Cracker Jack and Pepsi collab. We'll have to see about that. Maybe for next time we can discuss that. I just saw that recently, um, and I have to see what that's all about. There's a lot going on. There's Goldfish and Duncan. There's a lot of different things going on here right now, so uh, we'll have to see. <laughs> hey, I'm not against the idea of the cross collabo at the same time, but at the same time, too, it's interesting how these things are kind of getting together, some things that you never thought would be the situation. Drew, when are you going to get the new puppy, Ian? You know, my my wifey, we were just talking about this earlier because I've been feeding this cat that I have, our late, like our neighborhood cat that comes around. Um, my wife doesn't like the fact that I feed this cat because the cat keeps coming around for obvious reasons. Uh, but I, I'm just a sucker for animals. I love animals. So I love trying to take care of these animals when they're around. Uh, but the wifey was saying, you know, if we're going to do anything, of course, we're going to get a pup. We're going to do that eventually. I know that has to happen. Uh, but for right now, we'll have to see there. The word is, uh, is still um, to be determined, Drew, to be determined. All right. Erna loves cats. I do, too. I do, too. I love them, too. <laughs> All animals, believe it or not. Emotional support animals, any type of animals. You already know. Yes, Tony, Wendy's is selling the pretzel bacon puff cheeseburger again. Do you think you'll probably go for it and try to eat it again? Usually not unless there's something new about it. And there's nothing new about it aside from maybe blending it with the Rick and Morty stuff and stuff like that as well. I try not to go back to the well because there are so many other things out there naturally. Only if it's something that I haven't done um, within the same category, I'll probably do it. Um, but I don't like to see the same review, just a newer version of it. I'm just not a fan of that personally because I've gotten it the first time around. Um, and I don't think just showing it again, you know, in terms of for quote unquote views and that type of thing, that's not my not my forte because there's so much else out there to review and do. I'd like to kind of keep it moving along that way. And trust me, I'm never at a loss when it comes to stuff to do um, anyway. So to go back and use that time to redo and talk about the same things again, just because it's out again. Um, no, <laughs> I'm good with it. I'm good with it. And yes, Deppy Slide, I'm definitely into the pumpkin spice drinks. I actually had one today from Duncan. Absolutely, good times across the board uh, with that. So that's always my uh, my favorite. The cold the um, cold brew with the uh, the cream goodies that you have the pumpkin cream, which is out there as well. Uh, actually, that's what I had today, which was really really nice. Uh, let's see here, Summer Ferguson. Just curious if you've had any spiritual encounters recently. I recall during the live stream a few years ago, you sensed a ghost on the bridge. Yes, that was a that was a crazy time actually on. Uh, the East East Bridge on Colorado Boulevard. Very, very crazy. Nothing nothing too crazy just yet at all like that summer, no. Um, but naturally, with Halloween not too far around the corner right here, we're going to have to do something uh, for sure. All right, a couple of more things before we jump into the review because we're already coming up on 8.30, which is crazy, guys. We are moving along quickly, and I am still have not stopped talking at all. I'm kind of blown away sometimes. I can just keep going and going and going. Uh, but here we go. We're doing our thing over here. 
Uh, Chewy Lore, is Winston going on, on the stream? Not tonight. No, 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 no. I am uh, looking forward to one day soon, hopefully seeing that little pup uh, on the stream again. That would be pretty amazing uh, at the same time. Bus! Bus, what are you doing? Hello, Ian. Here's a double donation. We're flying to Seattle tomorrow for a cruise to Alaska on Tuesday, so I won't be able to catch the live stream next Friday. Uh, we'll be at sea, so I figured I would donate today. Wow, no worries, Bus. I appreciate you. But if you do happen to have some solid Wi-Fi on your cruise, not to say that you need to be watching my stream on a cruise, um, but if you wanted to catch any of that content, you'll be able to find it, uh, of course. Have a very safe trip. That's awesome. Bus 7332, straight, straight out, you deserve it, my friend. I know you've been putting in the time. So that is awesome. That is awesome. Shout outs to you. And again, I appreciate the love and support, Bus. You're just crazy consistent with that. Um, and I greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Nestor would love to see a cat in the stream. Freddy Foodie King, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Uh, we don't know if that's true or not, Freddy. <laughs> you never know. Mr. Ray Parker Jr. might have something to say about that too. All right, so you guys ready for this review? If you guys are ready for this review, I think it is time to jump in for the... <laughs> I'm already seeing some stuff. And again, if you want to talk about clairvoyance, oh my God, this is just nuts right now. Give me a... Oh, give me a ghost. Give me a ghost here in the chat to let me know you guys are ready and that we're all caught up here. <laughs> I think so far, knock on wood, we're going to be okay. Larry, I don't think in and out will ever go out of business. Absolutely not. Erna jumping in with the ghosts. There it is. We got ghosts. We got ghosts. There we go. There we go. I love the ghost emoji with that whole tongue sticking out with the little black eye, little patch and all that stuff there as well. You already know what it is. <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. All right, so there we go. We got plenty of ghosts in effect over here. And speaking of clairvoyancy, because like I always say, Drew is like my brother from another mother. Sometimes he just kind of knows. But he also, if he really kind of watches the way I've been doing things and when I talk about stuff, he really picks up on some of the content and remembers because I try not to remember. So without further ado, yes, we're going to be taking a look at the last flavor as the first review of the new bouncers from Hostess. Have you guys found these yet? We're going to be taking a look at the cinnamon donuts, the mini cake donuts here made with real cinnamon, no artificial flavors or colors, no high fructose corn syrup. These guys are banging little deliciousness packages of bomb diggityness. <laughs> and that just came out random, uh, just so you know. But these things, I'm telling you, are like ridiculous. I, I already know this is going to be a very tasty flavor. Now, having done the Twinkie variant, as well as the Ding Dong variants, which you guys can find um, all around my channel. You can find the, the actual review. Um, I, it's not in any particular playlist, but you can find the Hostess Bouncers Ding Dong review um, on my channel like normal in the live streams replay playlist. You'll find the version for the, the glazed Twinkies, um, but a beautiful situation uh, when it comes to this here. So let me catch up on the chat really quickly here, and then we will jump into a quick Hostess Box opening 101. Hostess with the mostest from Freddy Foodie King. There you go. Box opening 101 from Drew. See again, my clairvoyant brother from another. Right there. Larry saw those at Vons by my house. Very cool. Are these still on sale? They were, they were like two for 10. It may be a little pricey, but when you think about it, a dollar a pack, you're getting three on the inside. I guess it kind of averages out. So not bad. All right. Box opening 101. Again, I always see a lot of reviewers still that are just destroying these boxes to get into them, but they're meant to be open like trays, so to speak, so you can get into them easier. So we're going to open up the little rip tab around this way, and then we're going to simply go around to the side, lift the flap up, try not to cut your finger. Let me just cheat a little bit here and go to the other side as we make our way around. And then make your way around one more time. Wow, the glue is a little bit heavier on this particular one. All right, there we go. And I kind of did that almost correctly. Let me try to destroy this box. And then, if everything goes according to plan, you lift this up because the back piece naturally is connected right over here. So there you go. We got five packages on the inside. And I haven't had one of these cinnamon donuts in a very, very long time. So let's move on down the line over here. Yes, there's a very cool box, Mr. Freddy Foodie King. <laughs> All right, so let's get this in here. My focus needs focus. Come on now, baby. There you go. All right, Hostess Bouncers, cinnamon donuts. 
mini cake donuts right over here. Now, I didn't actually put these in the fridge because these don't have a glazed coating from what I was reading on this one over here. So I didn't want to have the cream on the inside be a little bit harder. At the same time, I kind of wanted to really have that smooth richness, like just biting into like a Twinkie um, at the same time. But let's just give this a shot. As Misty Smith is saying, can you show how high you can jump? Let's all jump together. All right. So what I'm going to do is I think I've almost got this down to a science now. Uh, well, I thought I did. Hang on one second here. All right. Oh, my mistake. These are glazed. Doesn't say that on the box. Now I wish I kind of had these like this here, but take a look. And what I'm going to do is cover my computer. All right. So cinnamon glaze, I'm guessing on this here, but little cream on the inside. They look kind of cool, right? We'll have to see about over here. Looking really interesting. Take a look at that. Three of them. Let's give this a shot. I'll just lift one of these up here really quickly. And yep, looks like we've got the puncture wound on the very bottom right over there where they pump the cream in. You can kind of see. Let's give this a shot. The mini donuts uh, right over here, the cinnamon donuts, bouncers from Hostess officially. The third variant of these brand new. Let's give them a shot. Let's peep this out. Wow, cinnamon strong right away. Glaze goodness, creamy goodness. Mm. Wow. Very strong on the cinnamon, actually. Oh, ma'am. That is very strong. Moist, rich. I am definitely loving this. The sweetness is definitely up there. You'd expect that. Mmm. They're tasty. If you like cinnamon, of course you're going to be buying these, right? I think I like the, uh, the Twinkie ones better. These are good. Mmm. Mmm. Absolutely. I am totally digging that, actually. Very moist, creamy, rich. I know it's a little contrasty right there because of the lighting. There we go. But the glaze coating, it's not the typical glaze coating from the Twinkie, actually. This one actually is a little bit more of a cinnamon glaze. And it's funny, they don't mention that on here at all. But the quality is nice. The cream on the inside is a nice little accent to this. For sure. Wow. It is tasty, but not as tasty as the Twinkie variant or the Ding Dong. The cinnamon is strong, but then everything else seems just a little muted, just a little bit. I like them though. They're good. Really good, actually. I'm going to save this one for the wifey to try. Then we got other packages here, but I'm good with just two of them. But the quality is good. The icing is good. The cinnamon flavor is strong on it as well. But it's a little bit of more of the weaker of the three. Just my personal opinion. So overall for the bouncers, let me lift this up over here. To do the official food review showcase. The new bouncers, cinnamon donuts. Hmm. This is hard. It's not quite like an 8.5 and maybe like an eight barely. I'm going to go 77. We'll do a couple of hockey sticks on this particular one here. Not bad for what it is. The cinnamon is very strong, but everything else after that's a little muted. The cream itself is decent, um, but this works better just with the Twinkies. This is really interesting having this variation like this. And I'm surprised they actually use this one compared to some of the others. Like I would have loved to have seen like a chocodile or something like that. I guess because they had the ding dongs, they didn't really want to do two chocolate ones, but Maybe the powdered donuts or something like that uh, would have been good to do a little bit of glaze and then some powdered sugar or something like that. But not a bad variation, um, but I'd probably recommend trying this one very sparingly. Naturally, the Ding Dongs and the Twinkie versions are the best out of the three. Um, but this is not bad, guys. This is not bad. 77, close up on an 8 if you want to round it up. Um, but at the same time, it's just all right. It's just all right. I think the wifey might like it, at least there. I know she's not going to have more than one of these um, at the same time, so... We'll come back. Uh, we'll come back to that a little later for her, for sure. And we'll get into the second review in just a second here. Let me just clean my palette. Oh, man, it is so hot right now. It's so so hot. 
All right, so let's see. Larry Nguyen, yes, no, uh, no milk to dunk in with that. And it's probably a good thing, too, because considering the glaze on the outside, that wouldn't, uh, would have been a little rough um, at the same time there. Would have been a little rough. Uh, let's see who we got else in here in the chat here. What am I seeing here? Jason Kroll, 8.5 out of 10, thought it was going to be. Um, that would have been a little too high, I think, for that. I think anything in the upper 70s, um, even low 80s, you know, low 8s uh, would have been okay. I mean, it's fresh. It's tasty. Um, and the cinnamon is strong. Initially, you get that right up front. But after that, it gets a little, you know, kind of dips a little bit in terms of everything else. The Twinkie one holds its flavor all throughout. And I really like that one. Um, very, very cool. James, where can you find the balancers? Well, here in Southern California, I found them at Vons. Uh, most major markets, I would think, for those of you guys who have Kroger in the area or any of the major um, Win dixie or uh, Publix, I guess, back east in certain places down south. A lot of the major markets you should be able to find. But just log, log on to Hostess.com probably and just find their site. Um, you should be able to order them as well. Drew, thanks for going to be doing some Ruffles, Twisters, or Spicy Dill Pickles to finish it off. We'll have to see. Megan, yes, hot and now wet. Yes, it's craziness right now. From what I understand, Mr. Jimmy was telling me it was raining a little bit out his way. Um, it was raining a little bit earlier today um, when I was taking care of a few errands. And when I was getting my coffee, actually, it started to pick up. Uh, my car needs like a major wash anyway right now. So I'm actually very, very glad about that uh, for sure. Uh, let's see. Going down the line. Let's see here. It's still raining, Mr. Jimmy. Man, craziness, craziness. Tony, you've got the Twinkie bounces right now. Very nice. What do you think? They're very, very tasty. I'm telling you, those are my favorite out of the three. By far. <laughs> By far. Uh, let's see here. I think Meg is asking, how are you located in North OC2? I don't know if you're asking somebody here in the chat or for me, I'm in Pasadena. Pasadena, California. And yes, and humid. Holy, <laughs> it's unbearable. I know. Mr. Jimmy, I think uh, my wife and I were going to be on the couch tonight with the AC on just directly because it is just ridiculous here. I, I can't sleep. I've been literally tossing and turning, you know, just on my phone. I just, I can't do anything. It is very, very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Uh, let's see here. Larry Nguyen, will you have tried Wendy's or Jack's uh, French Toast Sticks anytime soon? I think we, uh, we talked about that last week, Larry. Take a look at the playlist. I have uh, those reviews out a long time now. The Wendy's ones I did, obviously, because they're new. And the uh, the ones from Jack I've done when they first came out um, as well, too, there. If you guys are curious about some of the things that I've done, definitely before you ask it, just so you may find it actually here on my channel. Just do a search for whatever it is and then just put Peep This Out or Peep right after the title. And uh, nine times out of ten, what you may see will probably show up. There's more than enough videos on my channel. I think like 1,500 plus, give or take, at this point, which is crazy. <laughs> Meg, it, uh, Meg, yes, same here, easy car wash. I'm telling you, I'm looking forward to it. I was talking to uh, the moms, and I said, as soon as it starts coming down this weekend, I'm going to take a break from whatever I'm doing and just kind of go around my neighborhood for a bit and uh, let it get itself a wash and then come on back. <laughs> it's one of those things where my car is like a nice, like a, like a dark blue, but it's kind of shiny. So when it gets dirty, it looks like it becomes brown. So if I'm looking over my hood when I'm driving, I know that's the time that I need to do it. Um, at the same time, actually, you know, it's funny because I went with the wifey to get Chick-fil-A not that long ago. And the guy, it was like at night or something. And, you know, I'm just sitting there. Obviously, I'm in the driver's seat. He comes over to me and he's all like, you know, what color is this car? I said, it's blue. <laughs> and he's like, oh, and I'm like, I knew right then and there. And then they said that they were gonna be, uh, there was going to be a storm showing up here in Southern California. Um, and that's what we have to look forward to. And lo and behold, and now it, it's here. So we'll have to see. Tony Montana had a great Panda Express dinner. Cool, cool. Beijing beef, lo mein, very nice. Spring rolls, really liked it. For those of you guys who don't know, and probably you should by now, um, they're doing the Beyond Orange Chicken, which is finally out there, which I reviewed, I think it was, I want to say this time last year, maybe a little bit later than last year, but um, you'll find that on my channel. I put that in the community tab of my, uh, my channel here as well. You can find the direct link. If you guys have had it, what do you think of it? Very curious to know if you think it actually tastes like that. Um, good stuff. Very, very good stuff. All right, about two minutes, we'll get into the next review because it's going to be kind of a quickie, and I know my mom is not going to be happy with it, but it's all good because what I do, I do for you guys, and I got to satisfy a whole range of people to make sure I, uh, I put these things out there. So uh, we'll see how this goes. Uh, Tony Montana, did you know Burger King is actually selling a Texas Double Whopper again? Yes, I've actually never gone away with that. Um, I've actually done that here on the channel, too. I, might, I think it may have been the double I may have done. I'm not sure. Um, but take a look at the BK playlist here on the channel, and you may find it there. 
for sure. And yes, ScottRush.com, you already know, chips, chips, chips. My mom is not a fan of chips. So without further ado, let's just get into it, shall we? Uh, if you are ready for action, let's see, how bad could it be? Uh, it has the original orange sauce, right? Very true. So you're getting the mouthfeel of the chicken and generally a pretty chicken tasting, a chicken like product, so to speak. But um, they're shaped very differently. They stand out instantly when you see the way that they look compared to the regular orange chicken. And I think in my review, Freddie, when I did that, I think I compared them. I got a little side of that um, orange chicken to go with it there. Uh, but hey, choice is great, right? It's great to have choices. So that's actually a very good thing. All right, if you guys are ready for this next review, just to make sure we're all caught up here, give me a meat on the bone. Give me meat on the bone over here as an emoji. And let's see who jumps in there first with that one. I don't think that's too obscure. Oh, we got chickens coming from Richard. Close, but no cigar. It's meat, but the wrong type. <laughs> Your boy is smart. Yes, he is, Freddy. You already know. Annette, there you go. All right, I'll almost take that there, Jason. But meat on the bone really kind of means, I guess, that what you're seeing. The main meat. But the turkey leg, I get it. <laughs> I got you. Mr. Jimmy, in effect. There you go. Dom's World, Cristobal, Larry Nguyen. Very nice. Michael Domer, Richard. Okay, there we go. You're back into it again. We got meat on the bone everywhere. Okay, a little late to the party with this one, so forgive me, moms, but we're definitely going to give this one a shot because I'm curious. This has been sitting in my place for a minute now. Kettle Cook Fritos Chili Cheese Flavored. Very curious to see what they're going to do with this. I pretty much know what to expect with the same type of seasoning they put on their regular Fritos. It's just going to be on some Lay's Kettle Cook Chips. But I figured, why not? Just to kind of round it out and uh, give this a go. And of course, a staple of every healthy diet outside of bouncers, naturally having some cinnamon donuts, you're going to have potato chips to go with. It's one of the reasons I simply cannot do any more donuts tonight, Mr. Jimmy, which was the reason. <laughs> but we definitely have to hit that up because I'm in uh, the mood for a tiger tail. I would just feel completely horrible if I did that right now. Uh, Drew hasn't found these yet. Yeah, these are, I guess this was kind of an interesting thing at my local Vons. It just kind of popped in. There was a couple of bags there. I'm like, oh, cool. I'll give this a shot. But... Fritos chili cheese flavored, and as you guys can see, it's virtually all air on the inside. I really hate when they do this, um, but it looks decent, right? They look fairly dusted nicely. I'm not getting any chili smell or anything like that. Jana says these are really good. Let's see, Scott Messerschmidt, they're good. Had to run out and get two more bags, two for six. Cool, we'll have to see how this goes. Let me see here. Missy Smith is saying, woo, there we go. Now everybody in the moment, we all tell him for Tyler, do your thing. <laughs> I miss Tiger Tales. Sherry, what's going on? Out in Arizona, what's going on? Yes, I know. I, it's been a minute since I've been over there. And Mr. Jimmy, we've been trying to link up to go. It's just the scheduling and the timing and everything going on to do. But I definitely want to make it a point to try and get to one this weekend for sure. Oh, we'll have to see here. Uh, let's see here. Freddy Foodie King can't find those anywhere too. Like I said, this was just out of the blue. I wasn't looking for these. I kind of stopped to be honest because... You know, I feel like I've been so late to the party with this. If I see him, great. If not, it is what it is. But let's just give this a shot. I'm not expecting anything amazingly different from what I'm expecting with the flavor from the Fritos on this. But as you can see, kettle chips, these are my favorite types of potato chips, strictly because they fold and a little bit, they have a little bit more oil in them. They just seem to have a little bit more flavor. They're savory, according to this. Uh, it says, you be the judge of this. Savory, flavor combo, all four variations. I haven't seen any of the others on the very bottom right over here. So if you guys have seen the Doritos, if you guys have seen the Cheetos, the Funyuns, I mean, these are pretty much coming back again. I think I actually did a few of these back in the day. Um, but this one, I think, is the new, um, from my, from what, I'm, what I remember anyway. But let's give this a shot. The Kettle Cooked Fritos Chili Cheese Flavored. Let's give this a go. Let's peep this out. Here we go. Hmm. Here we go. It's like a Tex-Mex spicing. A little subdued though, it's a little light. Most of these flavors tend to be for some reason, but I like these. I mean, it's a kettle chip. Sorry, mom, I know I'm doing chips again. <laughs> but yeah. I'm getting like an Ortega Spices type of vibe, which I expected because it's chili cheese. So naturally, they're going for that Tex-Mex flavoring on this here. So not bad. I mean, these are definitely going to get eaten. 
Scott, I don't know if I would run out to get more of these per se, but if you like them, hey, more power to you. Yeah, they're okay. It's just light. The flavor is light. And actually, the more that you eat of these, the more of the flavor is going to kind of kick in just a bit. But I mean, I love chili cheese fries, like from the hat or places that serve like, you know, fresh cooked crispy fries that are kind of smooth and creamy in the middle. And then you have plenty of chili and of course cheese and it kind of strings when you pull it up. Little top, top of pastrami on there too. Mm. I could take this one or leave it. I mean, it's okay. But, um, I mean, it tastes like chili cheese, I guess, because of the Tex-Mex spicing, the Ortega spicing. I'm getting like those old El Paso packets that you would see like at Walmart or stores and stuff like that, that they just dump on some kettle chips, which is cool because they're using the Fritos name. So they're rocking the, uh, the name brand goodness with this one. Man, it's just okay for me. So I think I'm just going to do a flat seven with this. It's all right. But nothing that's blowing my socks off. Yeah, I think a seven. I really can't go much higher. It may seem like a little bit of a harder score, but it's a good chip. It's a kettle chip. Let me go for one more. And this is why I like these, because the way they fold... You guys ever go to like state fairs when they cook these live in front of you? They put them in this this big cauldron and they kind of rotate like the big witch's brew with that whole thing. It's kind of cool how they do that. But they're crispy, crunchy. Hmm, maybe a 7.3. We'll just lift it up just a little bit. It's decent, but I'm not going to try and run out and find the others. If I see them, great. Um, but like I said, this was a surprise um, to find and it's just okay. It's just okay for what it is. So not bad. Not too bad for what that is. Stick with the original chili fried chili Fritos. Yes, of course. There's no substitute for that. It's a different chip with that too and that too. So when you have the regular Fritos, that's a heartier corn chip. It's thicker. So you're getting a little bit more bang for the buck, I think, in terms of just being satisfied. You have to really kind of, you know, eat more and more and more of those. And if you do like them, of course, naturally, Scott, uh, jalapeno dip. Yeah, I can see that. I can totally see that just to kind of dress it up. It's just that the flavor seems kind of muted for me. I mean, it's just not really super, super strong. Like I was thinking chili cheese fries or chili fries like Cheetos or Fritos, I should say. Maybe because like I said, the base is a thinner chip to work with. So the flavor is not super strong where if you have the corn chip, which is heartier, it's thicker. You have those old El Paso spices, that type of situation I can kind of see. So it's all right for what it is. Not, not bad, not bad whatsoever. All right, so obviously with this one being a couple of hockey sticks, 77 uh, for this one here, 7.7. .7, however you want to look at this there. These are actually decent, but again, if you want my opinion, go with the uh, glazed minis, the mini glazed version of the Twinkies. Um, that's the best out of the group. Then next up immediately is the Ding Dong variant. And then this one, which is not bad. If for all of you cinnamon heads out there, you'll dig this. Um, it just has a little bit less of flavor compared to everything else once the cinnamon goes away. But it's strong up front which I really, really like. And then naturally, jumping into something quick with this one here, just a little taste of each of these tonight to give these a go because I'm managing naturally. <laughs> you got you to gotta find balance when you do food reviews and when you do things on the web uh, or in general and you do it frequently, you have to find ways to find balance and manage. So naturally going for little tastes of things. That's one of the reasons I don't do combos for my reviews. Um, stuff like this is just a few unless I really like it. Uh, but these are decent guys. These are decent again, nothing to really write home about. Otherwise, you know, they're okay um, If you see these on the sale, I would recommend them. They're actually pretty pretty tasty uh, And if you're a fan of Fritos in general, I don't know why you'd want to try this outside of curiosity uh, But naturally you have an option which is kind of cool. So Decent for what that is and if I do find the other ones We'll see about maybe adding them to the list, you know for the new version so to speak for 2022 uh, We'll have to see there. So it is what it is Freddy Foodie King, I just saw something really quick here. The Cheetos ones were too disappointing. Yep, they tend to be, I guess. You know, it's a, some of these hybrid chips, you know, they, they work with the main chip that they're supposed to be on because that's the way they're designed. But when this, once they mix the base and they change that and they have some of the same flavoring, um, that's where things can kind of go awry slightly. So just my personal opinion, my personal take on them. And yes, Sherry, just me out there. Yes, you need to find these balancers. I would highly recommend it. Um, again, the Twinkies is the rock-solid rocket out of the group. Um, it really is the best. 
Um, maybe because Twinkie is my all-time favorite hostess cake that I really enjoy outside of maybe Chocodiles, um, which I don't see too often. Once in a blue moon, or the chocolate-covered Twinkies, essentially, is what that is. Frosty for dessert, says Drew. Man, that sounds like a serious plan. Um, but believe me, when my buddy uh, Mi Familia was messaging me earlier talking about Donut Man after the stream tonight, I was like, oh, man, I, I can't say what I'm going to be reviewing because I, we've been talking about hitting up to go do that. But I need to um, I need to hit up a Tiger Tail at some point. Hopefully, if the weather is okay this weekend, Mr. Jimmy uh, will make that happen uh, for sure. Tony Montana, I haven't seen the last two episodes of She-Hulk. I have to catch up on episode three and four. Um, I know the other one just came out. I've been so busy trying to get a bunch of things finished, and I want to try and have just a completely relaxing weekend um, across the board. So that's one of the reasons I've been literally incognito on uh, the last few days. Freddie, yes, Poppy Genius Minds, think alike. You already know. <laughs> oh, it's great to see everyone interacting here in the chat. You guys are amazing. Like I always say, we have one of the best communities here on YouTube. Very, very solid. A um, few issues here and there with maybe some people just trying to get a rile out of, but it's all in good fun, naturally. Um, we're always uh, looking to have a little good time here on the stream, and I'm glad you guys are doing just that. Hot sauce, have you ever had a Crab Rangoon pizza? No, but that sounds amazing because I love Crab Rangoons um, with that cheese that's in there and that little, the way that those, you know, the, the pastry type of thing is there. It's like a, an egg roll, but like pinched in the middle, so it looks really cool. Yes, I would definitely rock that. That would be interesting. Talk about a, a mix of fusion of fast foody type of things, right? Crab Rangoons and pizza. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Let's see here. Sonic, the cool tropical storm and air and light rain wind feels good. It's muggy and disgusting as far as I'm concerned. Plus, it, it smells pretty, pretty crazy outside. When I got home from doing my stuff today, when the rain started to kind of trickle in there, you can really you can feel the heat instantly when you're walking in it. And the smell of it, just it's very musky and very, very tropical, actually. It reminds me of being on the cruise with my wife, actually. At the time, um, before fiancé, naturally, we took a cruise for a week. Um, and I remember it was not, uh, not the best uh, for that. Not the best. <laughs> uh, but it reminded me of that. It reminded me of this a tropical environment um, at the same time. All right. There we go. Guys, coming up on the last few minutes of the stream here. Thank you so much. Uh, for jumping on the stream here tonight. I greatly appreciate you guys for my uh, birthday Eve Eve stream, so to speak, there with Sunday coming up. Uh, the next time I see you will be into officially my 49th year on the planet, which is kind of crazy uh, to think about at the same time there. my I mean, I feel like I'm like 18, 19 in some of the things, but naturally um, some days are better than others because <laughs> I feel certain things that are not. Like I feel like I'm a little bit older um, at the same time. But Guys, it's been nothing but a love letter of uh, of good times and creating content here on the channel and continuing to grow, to learn, to meet new people, um, people that I've known from the past, people that I'll know in the future, however things go. Um, like we said earlier, and we kind of alluded to, you can change the motion of the ocean. You can just adjust your sails. So whatever comes your way, try and adjust that sail and uh, swing it in a direction that you think is going to work best for you. And if it doesn't, adjust it again and keep doing that until you find the path that is going to be uh, beneficial for you there at the same time so and that's true with just about everything um, that you do so try and keep that air of positivity about yourself and what you do um, whatever you do do a, do it to the best of your ability um, at the same time and just invest in yourself 120 plus percent to really do what it is that you'd like to do and just see what happens you never know i mean you could be like a few years later you know thousands of subscribers on youtube and enjoying your time and, and having a lot of fun and interacting with amazing people on Friday night live streams and then or you could be doing something completely different that'll give you that passion and I'll give you that love at the same time too so uh, we'll have to see and next time I talk to you guys we'll have some Cobra Kai stuff to talk about I'm sure um, but shout out to each and every one of you guys just me out here didn't you like uh, Baja Blast figured out it seems a voltage I like Baja Blast I don't get it too often the zero version's not bad though Sherry it's actually not bad uh, for that so uh, but uh, I don't drink it too, too often. I'm kind of getting back into my Coke Zero kick just a little bit, um, especially with this weather being how crazy as it is. It's definitely something that I've been uh, enjoying probably a little bit more than I should, um, but I definitely dig it. Cobra Kai never dies. You already know what it is, Freddy. Yes, I can't wait for tomorrow. I'm going to have my pizza. Haven't decided if I'm going to do a stuffed crust, a large, and just be eating it throughout the day. That's going to be pretty much my thing for the day. We'll have to see what happens. Hey, Wolf, what's going on? 
at Suns football game in, uh, in Hawaii. Very cool. Just wanted to say happy birthday. No worries. I appreciate you. And sorry, no worries about missing the stream. These are always on replay, which essentially will be Sunday at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on my birthday for you guys. Um, so shout outs to each and every one of you. Thank you for wishing me all the happy well wishes for the birthday wishes to there. Ed Keaton, what's going on? Thanks so much as well to all of you guys here. Uh, in the chat. I appreciate you so much. And uh, like I always say, you guys have choices when it comes to content here on YouTube. I appreciate you guys making my little section of YouTube one of your choices, especially on Friday nights, my chance to interact with you guys directly. To all of you peeps who have contributed on Super Chat, of course, a very big thank you to you as well. Uh, anyone on PayPal, I'll know that after the fact. But of course, you guys will all be down below in the description box. So thank you so much for doing what you do. And for all of you guys monitoring the chat, uh, Mr. Jimmy, me familia, everyone have a safe weekend too. Look at that. You guys are definitely doing it up. It, it's just awesome. You guys are truly, truly awesome. Um, and I'm glad you're digging the uh, digging the content there. Uh, we'll gift you my gift. The donut. Very cool. Sonic Jet. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. That's so awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to be here in the chat for a little bit once the stream ends. So naturally, I'll be trying to chat away with some of you as much as possible before. Uh, Freddy Foodie King, happy birthday, Poppy. You're getting younger while I'm getting older. Oh, man, that's craziness, Freddy. It really is. It really is. But you just keep doing what you're doing as well, Freddy, because you are definitely an awesome dude. Um, and I love watching your content as well, too. Very infectious, a very awesome personality. Jackie Hero Food Review is coming up right behind, right over there as well, too. You already know. Um, awesome people, awesome people in the community. A lot of fun stuff out your way out there, Jackie, in terms of stuff for content for Canada. So you have a lot of fast food goodies. Stuff that's not available here. So looking forward to some crazy content from you as well um, as time goes by into this coming week. Uh, to all of you guys, uh, Jesus and a Tortilla, if you're still watching as well too, thanks so much for uh, for all the love and support and uh, the fun comments. I'm glad you guys are digging the YouTube Shorts. You'll see more of those. Next week, I'll, start, uh, I'll create the YouTube Shorts playlist on my channel that you guys will be able to find easier. Um, and then uh, we'll just see what happens with those. But I'm having fun making them because they're so quick to do and it's uh, pretty awesome. So... We'll see about some exclusive content um, for that format as well. Uh, so be on the lookout, excuse me, for that. All right, so to close out the stream officially for the birthday Eve Eve stream, this is Ian K closing out the live stream officially for September 9th, 2022. And like I always say, I've got brand new content every single week here on my channel. So why you stay tuned for that next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Good times, everybody. Thank you so much for jumping onto the stream tonight. Again, I'll be here in the chat for just a little bit until after the fact, usually about a minute or so, and uh, then we'll go into it there. And again, I can't wait to get into uh, Cobra Kai tomorrow, a little bit of Rings of Power tonight, later on tonight. Um, it's going to be a very, very fun time uh, for streaming goodies over there. And the Sandman, too. I got to finish Sandman. I got too much to do this weekend. Uh, we'll see what happens in the middle of a crazy tropical storm. So shout outs to all you guys. You guys stay safe, and I'm going to jump on over here. My boy Jay Nepper was on the uh, test stream yesterday. I know if he catches this on the replay, uh, this last little bit is for him. And like always, guys, I appreciate you greatly. Have an amazing weekend. Stay cool. We're almost through summer. And uh, for everyone here on the West Coast and Northern California, you know, just hang tight. We're just we're making our way through this as best we can. So with that, I love you guys. You already know. Peace. I'm out.